Greetings Commanders and welcome, welcome to the new video where me and Elio will talk a little bit about some recent developments in World War Armies and something we have up in our sleeve, our <laughs> short, short sleeve, sleeve, rather short sleeve, but something we have prepared for the next game version 1.33. So first of all, USSR rebalance is the last big thing. How did it go and are we happy about it? I think we're quite happy overall. You know, it was like, we have a lot of feedback from you, from you guys, <laughs> conveyed by Mike, that we pay close attention to. And it was, it, we kind of want to find like our footing in how we want to address uh, balancing updates, you know? And it's a bit hard when we do uh, small things here, small things here, to actually see the overall picture impact, you know? Or we can see, yes, okay, like these users are using uh, this unit a bit more, etc. And I think focusing, for example, on USSR, which was one of the, well, the displayed uh, nation, was important for us to see actually what's the actual impact, you know, of uh, what we're addressing. Um, we're thinking, you know, like some parts that were actually blocking maybe a bit the users, you know, like the tier cost, for example, etc. We're trying to think a little bit overall for the nation, uh, what we want to achieve with it, what unit we want to touch. So I think we're quite happy overall. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, it's almost impossible to get balancing perfect. Tell me of a game RTS that has a perfect balancing. It's very complicated. Uh, there's so many factors to take into account. But we're very happy with the use rate of uh, USSR, which now is like for some leagues like the top played nation. Uh, so we're really happy that it gets the spotlight that it deserved for quite a long time. And yeah, like let's see how it goes with the next nations. Oh, that's really nice to hear. And obviously there are players who don't play USSR as their main nation and they play Germany or USA or Japan. They're right, Japan mains nowadays, even though we've only released uh, <laughs> the nation just a couple of months back. And obviously they have concerns. I read them on our Discord. Please join our Discord. It's the best way to communicate with other players, the best way to provide us with your valuable feedback so that we can use that feedback for the future updates. And there are players who are expecting their nation to be rebalanced next. Uh, do we have any news, any, any schedule when we can expect next nation, nation to be updated? 100%. It's the only thing is like we're trying <laughs> I say trying, to match uh, one nation per month. Uh, it may not be the first of the month, because like with all the scheduling that we have to do, uh, for example, the next one being Germany. Hey. <laughs> uh, it may not happen, let's say, on the 1st uh, yeah, of so November. Much. You know, it will happen uh, maybe a Sometime. week or two weeks later. Exactly. Um, we're, we're really trying, though, to keep that pacing. So actually, like, if you have your favorite nation that you want to play, you see actually like at least three updates per year uh, on that nation. At the moment, you know, some nation, some nation didn't have a focus for a year. Uh, we don't want that to happen again. Uh, it means a lot of effort on our side, you know, but we want to iterate a bit on what we want that nation to be. Uh, we want all the nation to have like similar use rate. Of course, some nation will be picked yeah. a little bit uh, more. But, you know, over time, we want to really give the flexibility and not players to play one nation because <laughs> this officer skill is the best or I prefer this one plus maybe that Panzer too, maybe, you know, or stuff like that. You know, we want to actually just give diversity that you can actually use, you know, not just uh, abstract uh, diversity. Yeah, as a German main myself, German players <laughs> rejoice! <laughs> but that's not everything. I know that we have a major feature that will also most likely will impact the game balance. Uh, can you tell us more about it? So yes, we have a bit of a crazy feature coming. Uh, actually, maybe the biggest feature we did, we added for a long time. Um, and that feature is unit skills. And what does it do? Yeah, what, what, what are the skills? Are those active, passive? So let's say, you know, when we look at the strategy that you can have in your deck, etc., we wanted to give a bit more depth to the users. Uh, so it's going to come in two layers. Uh, the first layer is unit skill and maybe the last one, uh, the second one I'll tease at the end um, of my answer. But to start with, we looked at, okay, we have units, we have unit level, uh, we have masteries, and uh, we wanted to add something that gives the player more control about what that unit can do. 
uh, and unit skills is made for that. So you're going to be able, for example, to have some units with more damage, some units with more damage maybe when they capture a strategic point, more defense when they capture a strategic point. Maybe like you have uh, a certain unit that's slow and actually after capturing a strategic point becomes faster for X seconds. So, you know, we wanted to give actually just tools for the user to surprise us, maybe not too much, hopefully, <laughs> but to actually really like, you know, customize the decks and their units the way they want. So some units that may not be usable fully right now, we need skills will become uh, maybe top meta, you know, like we, we want to see like what happens with that and really to make the gameplay and the, the deck strategy a little bit more interesting than it is now. It is interesting, uh, but you know, like when you play the game every day for hours and hours, then it can become a bit like, you know, like there's not much new things happening. Repetitive, yes. But with that, actually, with the unit skills, you could actually rediscover your deck basically every week if you want to, or every day, you know, uh, depending on uh, how aggressive you want to be with your new strategies. But we're hoping that players will just really like exploring. And I don't know, I really can't wait for you. And you guys, of course, I'm checking your feedback as well. But you know, to come up with like, oh, this is working really well, this is not working so well. Uh, that's going to be like, we need a bit of patience from you guys as well. Uh, we're going to do actually a stage release, uh, a full stage release that we didn't do for some time. So we're going to have a technical release for about a week where not all the users will have access to the feature, but we need to see, you know, uh, the impact on the game is so much that we need to have this little experiment, you know, uh, for some time. And then, of course, everyone uh, will have access. But yeah, just to make it. sure that the game is not broken. Exactly. It's so big that we, we are testing. We're testing a lot, of course, but, you know, we cannot guarantee 100%. So we just need a little bit of patience and a bit of uh, testing time to make sure. Yeah. Um, it's knowing, knowing you guys, our players, you always amaze us by finding some clever use of game mechanics, yeah. I would say. <laughs> so, yeah, it might be a little bit difficult in the beginning, but we'll get there. We'll iron it out. Um, another question, how do we get those skills? How do we earn those skills? So that's uh, that's a very good point. We looked at actually like players' feedback about how to acquire uh, some content in the game and uh, we went for an in-between solution, kind of. So you will have the possibility for low cost uh, to just roll for the skill and you don't know what you get. So a random one. Exactly, a random uh, randomization of like uh, skill and you don't know what you will have to no matter what actually like uh, improve with skill points your skill level but in terms of skill and uh, in terms of rarity you will get like you could get a legendary skill that you want with a very small uh, amount of skill points if you're lucky oh, I like that <laughs> it could be like you can and try your luck if you I like. hope it also goes with you know some nice animation of like rolling of, different rarities of course of course oh, I love that <laughs> But if you're not patient, uh, or if you don't like uh, loot box yeah. or <laughs> taking your chance, or like you can just get the skill that you want right away. Simple yeah, as that. The cost is going to be a little bit higher, but you can skip that entire layer at all. You can never actually roll anything and just get what you want, upgrade it um, with the skill point currency. So there's both options for that feature, which is something that you know is a bit new. Like of course, like. Um, for sh you need shards uh, slash cards like you know you can also do that to an extent but not in the extent where this is permanent at all time you can decide whatever you want oh that's great so you can see a list of all the skills for a particular unit and you can choose you can plan your strategy you can think about weak points that the unit has that you can uh, kind of make up for using the skills so that's uh, some great news Thank you very much and Welcome. we'll be back with more content for you a little bit later. See you in the battle. See you.